Ladies and gentlemen, Super Bowl 55 is here. Welcome back to this guy is the limit sports channel central nation. What is good with you? Uh, guys, ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow's the day of when this video is going up. Tomorrow, I'm recording on a Friday, but this video is going up on a Saturday. Super Bowl 55 is here, ladies and gentlemen. We have the Chiefs and the Buccaneers. And if you guys have seen my rant videos, you guys know <laughs> how I feel about one team compared to the other. <laughs> Alright? Yeah, I don't like um I don't like the fact that he has made it to another Super Bowl again. Y'all, y'all let y'all let him do it again. <laughs> y'all, y'all let him do it again, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, Chiefs versus Buccaneers. We got Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes probably viewed as the best quarterback in the NFL right now. You got Tyreek Hill. Some people may consider him the best receiver in the game. Travis Kelsey is, to me, the best tight end in the game as of right now. It could change next year because George Kittle might have something to say about that. They got Sammy Watkins. They got Nicole Harmon. They got all the weapons in the world, bro. All of the weapons you could possibly need. They, even, they got Clyde Edwards uh, Alaire. Uh, my dad was excited to say, Hilaire! Don't ever. Do that again. And also, uh, Le'Veon Le 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 Bell, he used to play with the Steelers. I'm a Steelers fan. Um, he's in the Super Bowl. Um, yeah. That that happened, although he has not been much of a factor. I'm not even sure if he's even going to play in this game or not because he's dealing with the injury. I haven't even seen any real updates or reports on whether or not he's playing the Super Bowl or not. But we shall see. And we look at the Bucks' offense. Tom Brady, obviously, playing at 43 years of age somehow some way somewhat still well I, I i don't know what his uh training what what he uses but it, it, it i guess it works but it also does help when you have mike evans <laughs> chris godwin antonio brown <laughs> gronkowski cameron bray and let's not forget that oj howard uh, was lost for the season he honestly probably is their most talented tight end on that team He's out for the year. Tom Brady had him as well. We, we, we tend to forget about O.J. Howard, but he's out for the year. With, I think he tore his ACL at the beginning of the year. But we forget that he has him, and he probably will have him next year as a weapon. We forget about him. And we look at the defenses. The Chiefs, you know, they got Clark. They got Tyron Matthew and them boys. Um, they got, uh, what's the dude's name? Sworn, Sworn something. This other safety that they got. They ain't got too many f big household names. They got Chris. Well, they got Chris Jones. I forgot Chris Jones. I'm stupid. That's the, probably their best defensive player other than Tyron Matthews. Chris Jones. Idiot. <laughs> but um, they got a couple just nice brand name players that made big plays here and there and stuff like that they're not a bad defense they're a pretty decent defense they do struggle in the red zone though which worries me <laughs> because the bucks have a running back like leonard fournette that can just pound the rock and they can also give it to ronald jones usc boy i'm, I'm a usc fan for college um but um I didn't go to USC, but I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the school football program. But um, yeah, they got those two running backs in the backfield as well for Tom Brady. Other weapons he can use as well in the passing game as well if he wants to dump it off. Because you know a lot Tom Brady likes to dump off a lot. Even though not so much in this offense just because of the high flyers that flyers they have at the receiver position. And then we look at the Bucks defense and their front four is uh, very, very good. You got Sue, you got Barry, you got JPP. I mean, at linebacker, you probably got one of the top two or three linebackers in the game in Devin White, bro. And he's only in like his second or third year in the NFL. And he's already that good. I think out of LSU, right? He's he's already, he's already <laughs> look like an all pro waiting to happen, bro. Already, bro. Um, the weakness in the Buccaneers, though, is their secondary. They're young. Their secondary isn't trash. But they are young. You're dealing with the, the speed of Tyreek Hill. And we know what happened the last time Tyreek Hill went against this defense. But he had over 200 receiving yards in the first quarter. Not the first half. Not, not the whole entire game. In the first quarter, he had 200 receiving yards, bruh. And two touchdowns, by the way. Um, 
Buccaneers, it would be wise for you to not allow Tyree Kill to go off. It would be wise. I would hope you would not allow that to happen. Again, I would hope. <laughs> I hope they make that adjustment. Because if they don't make that adjustment, they're going to get shellacked. And I don't think the Chiefs are going to allow them to come back like they did in the first game that they played against each other, which was, uh, what, 27 to 24, that score was. The Chiefs went out to a huge lead because Tyreek Kill was just scorching them. And, yeah, I don't expect that. So I expect Travis Kelsey more so than anything to have the big game for the Chiefs. And probably maybe even a Nicole Harmon might be a sleeper guy. Watch out for that might have a big game as well because he's a speed. He's another speedster guy like Tyreek. He's kind of like another Tyreek Hill, but he just doesn't quite have the route running tree that Tyreek Hill is capable of being able to start and stop and be able to use his quickness to his advantage in that kind of way. So watch out for Nicole Harmon. He might be an X factor in this game. Watch out for him. X factor for the Buccaneers probably is Antonio Brown. And that's crazy to say because he's probably the best, most talented receiver on that team. But he is kind of viewed in a way as the third receiver, even though I don't know, it depends. But he was out last week. You know, he's he's a problem. He, he's a problem. And once again, another Steeler that's in, in, the, in the Super Bowl. So somehow, so some way, they're in the Super Bowl, but my Steelers are not. <sighs> but yeah, he's the X Factor for the Buccaneers, I think, in my eyes. Who do I have winning? I'm going with the Chiefs! What you thought this was, huh? What you thought this was? You thought I was going to fall? No, we need Brady to lose. He needs to lose, and I said the Chiefs are the team to do it. They are the team. We must put our trust in Mahomes. He must be the guy. And if he can do it, if he can do it, I think it starts to put him in the, in the conversation. We're wondering, can he really become the greatest quarterback of all time? Because right now, it is Brady. It, 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 he's got six championships. He's been to 10. This is 10th Super Bowl. And he's the first quarterback ever. First, this is the first time ever a team gets to host their own Super Bowl. Even though they won't be able to really get the effects of home field advantage in a way because of COVID protocols. It's only allowing, what, 25,000 fans in the stadium. So the stadium is still going to be loud, but it, it's not going to be to the levels that it could be. It's not to that. It won't be to that level. So I expect the Chiefs to still be able to operate as if it's like. Uh, let's say that they're playing like the worst team in the NFL and they don't have great attendance. It's kind of like going on the road for that kind of game. It, it, it shouldn't affect them too much. That shouldn't be that much of a factor. But we'll see. We'll see. 25,000 I think is the is the most I think I've heard of that has been allowed in a stadium overall this year. It might be. I'm not sure, but it might be. But yeah, I have the Chiefs winning the Super Bowl. Um, I have, I'm going to give it to Patrick Mahomes MVP because it's just hard for me to then not see him not give it to the quarterback because I was thinking like maybe they might give it to like a Tyreek Hill or Travis, or I would really think more Travis Kelsey just because I think he's going to be the player that gets off more than more so than anyone because they're going to be really keen in on Kelsey and uh, I just don't, even as great as Devin White is, I don't see how you cover Travis Kelsey. I just don't see how anyone covers Travis Kelsey. He's that good. He's one of the top five tight ends to ever play the game. Yeah, I said it. Well, I mean, I, I mean, I don't know if that's a, that's a stretch or like that's not like a stretch or anything, but I, I, the dude's a Hall of Famer. And I, it needs to be said, he's a top five tight end of all time. All right, he, he is. But I have the Chiefs winning 35 to 31. I think the Chiefs get the go-ahead score with like two minutes left. I think the Chiefs defense get the stop on Tom Brady. Yes, that's what I'm predicting. I'm predicting that the Chiefs are going to get the stop on Tom Brady. They are not going to allow him to drive down the field because everyone's going to be thinking, Oh, Lord, here we go. Two minutes left in the game. Tom Brady has the football. He's going to go down and score. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not happening. They're going to stop him. Somehow, some way, they're going to stop him. They're going to keep Tom Brady from getting to the, to the end zone. And the Chiefs are going to win the Super Bowl. And, yeah, that's how I see Super Bowl 55 going. You guys can let me know what your predictions are. Mahomes, please, for God's sake, do not allow Tom Brady to win another ring. Because people are going to start saying he's even greater than Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Michael Jeffrey Jordan. We cannot have that. No. No, 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 no. <laughs>
But that is it for this video. Your boy is out.